Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about how you can handle JavaScript alert in WebDriver IO. Okay, so let me show you some examples of JavaScript alert that you will be facing. Okay, I'm just taking one example, but once you understand the behavior of this alert, the process will remain same. Okay, so right now I have used this redfmail.com. The moment I don't fill any details in username password. You can see I'm getting one alert call. Please enter a valid username. So until I don't handle this alert box, you can see I cannot do any operation, right? I cannot do any username, password. I cannot do any activity until I accept it. So we will see how to handle this alert. We will also see how to capture this alert message. So tomorrow, if, let's say if you have to verify this text, whether it is as per your requirement or not, you can validate the same. Okay, so nothing much we have to do. We just need to uh, use some functions which is already predefined and you should be able to capture it immediately okay it doesn't matter whether you're working on firefox chrome or edge browser the concept will remain same so just to show you let me create a separate a javascript file let me give this is alert handle dot js okay now let me write describe block and i will have this say handle alert this is my test suite. Now I'm going to write it blocks and here I will say capture text and accept alert. This is my test name. Now let's continue with URL first. So I'm going to copy this URL. I will use await browser dot URL and just paste this URL. Okay. Now in order to get this alert i need to click on this button which is sign in button so i will just inspect this button first of all okay so this button have a name it has a value it has a title so i can go with anything so let me write one quick xpath or let's try css this time find a name sorry find input box where name equal to proceed you can see one of one that button is highlighted now let's click on that button so that we can get the uh, alert and let me add here async so I will use await again and I will use dollar symbol and I will just paste here now again I have to click on it right so this is for finding element one time await now if I have to click either I can store it into a variable and then call it or I can directly do it here okay I can write await here this we have seen in the previous videos so those who are jumping to this video directly I would recommend to watch the previous videos as well now I will say click so the moment you click on the sign up this alert will come now let me show you the documentation first so just come down here go to search and type alert okay so you can see we have get alert text accept alert dismiss alert right so let me first use this get alert text so what exactly it does as the name says it will capture the text of a alert and it will return you as a string okay so what i will do i will write await browser dot get alert text as you can see get the alert text command return the message of the current user prompt if that alert is not present it will return error so in our case it's present here so we are going to store this into a variable and i will say this is alert text i will store this so that we can validate the same and after capturing the text now i need to accept the same so again i will use await browser dot and now if you go back and see we also have something called accept alert okay so let's use this browser dot accept alert so it will accept the alert command uh, so basically this command will accept the alert if present if it is not present it will give you error so let's accept this so now this will capture the text this will accept but now we need to verify as well right so if I go back again, hit 
click on this proceed now let's say i want to see whether it is equal to this message or not which is please enter a valid username now we need to verify whether the text which is coming it is as per the requirement or not so now we will be using assertions now this we have discussed in the previous videos that how to use this assert library which is coming from javascript standard modules so i will be using require and i will be using require i need assert okay sorry just a second require and i will use assert and let me store this into variables i will say assert you can give any name i'm just giving a certain name so that i can use the same now i will use assert dot dp equals okay and you can see it is asking actual versus expected so what is actual in our case in our case the actual text is this which is coming from the application and what is expected in our case the expected is this so what i will do first of all i will give i will remove this name so obviously in this case it will fail so basically deep equals check okay uh, whether they both are same or not if they're not same it will fail in our case i have just removed this additional name in our case it should fail in the next iteration i will give the exact string and in that case it should pass so now let's see how to run it we will use the same command npx web driver io run dot now we need to run this web driver io dot config dot js file hyphen hyphen spec because we want to run a specific file and the file is alert handle dot js and before i run this let me add one browser dot pause because it will be very fast it will click immediately alert will come it will accept and continue so i want to show you this alert box so in your case you don't have to add this it is just i want to show you this uh, alert box so i will just add a pause of maybe two seconds so that you can see and after that it will accept the alert so now let's run this okay so in your case you can comment this line number 30 pause because it will be very fast so that i have added here now let's wait this will fail because assertion we have given wrong so you can see this alert is appeared after two seconds it accepted and it failed now if you see closely it says expected values to be loosely deep equal this is the actual which is coming from the web application it is please enter a valid username and the actual which we are doing is please enter a valid user right so obviously it is failing now and you can see it's highlighted in red so now if i go back and if i change it to the original one in that case it will verify and it will pass because now actual versus expected both are same so let me run this again yes the test started it, it will accept now and here we go it is passing our test because now actual and expected both are same okay so this is how you can handle the um, alert box you can capture the text now if you go back to the documentation you can also see let's say you want to dismiss the alert let's say you have two buttons okay cancel yes no in that case you can call dismiss alert if you want to dismiss the alert and it also have one fun like they also have one function called send alert text let's say you got a prompt box where you have to enter something so you can use send alert text as well so whatever text you will pass it will simply send that text to that particular alert box so it's very easy to just you need to use these functions or i will say command that's all for this video guys i hope you have learned something new out of this video if yes then do support this channel share with your friends subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye